Well hello there and welcome to freephotoshop.com and this week's video tutorial looking at creating a camouflage effect right here inside of Photoshop. You can see that on screen I already have the effect loaded up. This is one I created just a few moments ago and I've got it loaded up just so you can see what the final results of this effect look like. But in order for me to show you how it's made, I'm going to go ahead and close this one. Then come up here to the file menu and select new. And I'm going to call this new document camouflage. And then I'm going to select a web preset of 640 by 480 pixels. And then I'll click OK to create the document. Now the first thing you need to do is set your swatches to the same as mine. And if I click on the first swatch, we have a red value of 208, a green value of 197, and a blue value of 119. Once you've entered those values, click OK to load that color into your foreground swatch. Next I'll click on the background swatch, and here we have a red value of 128, a green value of 154, and a blue value of 100. Once again, when you've input those, then click OK to load the background swatch up. Now I need to fill the canvas with the background color. So I'm going to hit Control Delete here on the PC to carry out that function. That's Command Delete on the Macintosh side of things. OK, I'm going to come up here to the Filters menu. And if you're using version CS3 or a more advanced version of the software, then you could go ahead and convert the layer into a smart object allowing you to add a smart filter to it. In fact, it almost urges you to use that functionality if you have access to it. It's what you paid the money for after all. I'm going to skip that step, however, and instead come down to the Artistic submenu and then choose the Sponge Filter, which will go right ahead and open up the Filter Gallery onto the screen. And I'm going to have to go ahead and resize this so I can get the Filter Gallery inside the Capture area of my screen here. OK, now I'll enter a brush size of 6, a definition of 21, and a smoothness of 15, which is the maximum value permitted. Now I'd always urge you to go ahead and experiment with your own settings, but for now I'd urge you just to go ahead and try out my settings by hitting the OK button to accept them. Now I want to apply the exact same filter again, and I can do that by hitting Control F here on the PC, that's Command F on the Mac, and that's going to not only apply the same filter, but also apply the same settings too. Now we can use the medium filter to smooth out the edge effects. So I'll come back up to the filters menu, select noise this time, and then choose the median command. And I'm going to go ahead and enter a value of 5 pixels, and then click OK. Now to finish things off, you can come up here to the image menu, select adjustments, and then choose either the Levels command or the much simpler Brightness Contrast command to modify the brightness levels inside the image. Or to make the camouflage effect more green, we can come down here to the bottom of the Layers palette and click and hold the little Adjustment Layer icon here. Then just come up to the Photo Filter option and Release. Then we can choose a green filter from the drop-down menu and then adjust the density of the filter accordingly. OK, I'm going to click OK to accept any changes I've made here inside the Photo Filter dialog box. And there we have it, a basic camouflage effect thanks to the sponge tool, the medium filter, and a slight dabble with the Photo Filter's adjustment layer right here inside of Adobe Photoshop. Well, I hope you found this tutorial on freephotoshop.com to be entertaining, if nothing else. Thanks very much for watching.